A lot of show tonight, a lot to talk about. For example, uh, President Bush is in the middle of a uh, five-day visit to Africa. This is big news. Every, every day I pick up the newspaper, it's, that's all they talk about is President Bush and his trip to Africa. And everyone's wondering, what's he doing over there? What's he accomplishing? What are his thoughts? What are his opinions? And I thought the best way to find out is just to talk to the man himself. <laughs> we should talk to President George W. Bush and find out. That's, that's how you learn, I think. That's the only way. The only way to learn anything is to go right to the source. So uh, please welcome, uh, right now, President George W. Bush. Let's get him in here. Good man. Yeah. How are you doing, everybody? Welcome, uh, welcome to the show. Welcome, Mr. President. Hey there, Conan. Yeah. Or as they say here in Africa, um, hey there, Conan. Wow. It's very good, sir. It sounds Thank like you're Thank you. sounds like you're learning a lot on, on your oh, trip. Oh, I sure am. I sure am. There's a lot about Africa I didn't know. For example, everywhere I go, I'm amazed at the number of African Americans. It's incredible. The country's filled with them. Yeah, sir. <laughs> sir, those people are Africans. What? Oh, what? Now that's what they want to be called Africans now? Man, this is so confusing, this okay. PC stuff. Yeah, it's very, you have to be politically correct, yeah. Hard to keep up. Yeah, very hard. Now, hard sir, are you concerned that your visit to Africa might make the Liberian government, which has not been that friendly, even more hostile? Let me tell you something about the librarians. <laughs> no, sir. Conan, librarians. Conan. Librarians. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't You'll... matter, Conan. To answer your question, yeah, you mad worried about I, making I, these people more hostile? I know. I'm going to need to squint to answer that question. <laughs> All right, let's, let's hear what you got, sir. Bring them on. <laughs> wow, that was... Pretty damn good, That huh? was very impressive. And watch out Liberia, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Them Liberians are going to be shaking in their boots. Yes, they are. Now, sir, I understand. <laughs> Stop your muttering. <laughs> no, sir, I understand. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> what are you, Popeye now? Now, sir. I did a lot of coke in the 70s, no, sorry. stop it, sir. That's really not important. Now, sir, I understand. One of the big reasons for your visit is to pledge billions of dollars in aid to Africa. Is that, is that true? Well, that was one of my big reasons, but I've come up with an even better idea. Really? That's right. Instead of that... We're just going to propose a tax cut for the wealthiest Africans. A tax cut for the wealthiest, the wealthiest Africans. Wealthiest 1%. Yeah, that's Conan, great. did you realize that CEOs in Africa are still unable to write off corporate golf outings? I mean, we're in the 21st century here. Yeah. These people are Sir, suffering. Sir, I still think this is the These wrong... People are suffering. Who cares? You can't just give a tax cut to the wealthiest Africans. That's no, ridiculous. No, don't worry. Don't worry. Their benefits will trickle down to all the tribes. You know, and they'll trickle down to the to the Hutus and the the Tutsis and and to and to Tootie and Mrs. Garrett, the whole the whole kit and caboodle. Don't you worry. Probably the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Now, hold on, I got two more years. <laughs> sir, 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 a lot of That's right. the Mrs. Garrett. Guess you wait and see. <laughs> Now, sir, a lot of people are saying you went to Africa just to get everyone's attention away from your problems in Iraq. It, and it's angered a lot of people. They're angry, are they? Yes, they are. A lot of people hmm. are angry. <laughs> Bring them on. Okay, sir. Thank you. Sir, Thank you very it, much. Thank is you. that really responsible, though? To, to challenge, every time you, uh, you are challenged by an opponent to just say, Bring them on? Well, that's tough talk from a tough leader. You sound like a pansy the way you say it. Bring him on, bring him on. <laughs> say bring him on. I'm you just sorry. Did it again. You just did it again. Okay. Conan, I, I'm a world leader. And as a world leader, I've got a great line for every situation. You have to. Go ahead. Hit me with a question on any topic. Okay. Uh, how are you going to revive the economy? Bring it down. <laughs> Okay, sir, uh, what about our strained relations with Europe? Not a clue. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. I got nothing. And, and uh, sir, any idea when we'll be leaving Iraq? 
Gotta go. <laughs> wow. The president left and he took Africa with him. <laughs> Just slid away. All right, uh, President Bush, everybody, he really, I mean, I gotta say, he really ducked the questions there. And I don't know, sometimes I just wish America had a strong leader, a man who wasn't afraid. Don't you worry about it, I'm your strong leader. We got a strong leader right here. Oh my God, I'll it's take care of me. Put me in charge. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Put me in everybody. Charge. Oh, Sign Arnold. Me up. Arnold Schwarzenegger, good to have you here. I'm, I'm the man for you, not the George Bush. He's a moron. You can barely understand what he says. <laughs> He's not a Very hard to understand him, yes. <laughs> He's not articulate, no. <laughs> now, Arnold, congratulations. This is big. Terminator 3 was this week's number one movie. Number one, number one. Yeah, barely begins to describe the incredible success of my smash new movie, Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. Yeah, it's... It's a, it's a big hit, this movie. Yeah, Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines is crushing the competition. Yes. Yeah, yes, the... we, know it's, we know it's doing yeah, that, yeah. Finding Nemo, hasta la vista, Nemo. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's true. I devoured Nemo. You devoured Nemo. I devoured that puny little fish at the box office. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you, I tell you what, if you want to find Nemo, check my stool. <laughs> Oh, God. That's why you want to no, find that's, Nemo. That's terrible. Arnold, you can't say that. Let me tell you, Legally Blonde 2. Consider yeah. Legally Blonde 2 legally blown away. <laughs> and Reese with a spoon is more like Reese with a spoon. <laughs> yeah. What? Uh. Re what? That, what? What? I what is that? More. What do you mean you got more? Uh, Charlie's Angels full throttle. More like Charlie's baby's full bottle. What? Wait a minute. That was stupid. What was that? Cause what do you mean full? They're crying boohoo like babies because their bottle's full. The bottle oh, wait a minute. Is full, wait a minute. So wait a minute. Wait, like babies. wait a minute. Arnold. Arnold, why would babies cry with a full bottle? Because the milk is bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sour milk, but. So what? Because T3 is going to crush it! <laughs> it tells Charlie's Angels to three smithereens! It crushes it! All right, Arnold, we get it. Crush. We get it. We get it! Full throttle, baby bottle! Shut up! <laughs> shut up, Arnold. We get I'm it. Your, your movie's doing very I well. I chew your hand no, off! No, don't shoot no. it! Ah, don't bite it! Oh, no. Now, your movie's doing very that well. delicious. Everyone wants to know. Are you gonna run for governor of California? That's what people want to you know. You mean governator. <laughs> I am the governator. I will be part governor, part cyborg, an unstoppable <laughs> legislating machine. So I, I guess, Arnold, that that's a yes. Yeah, governator is just the first step. My movie T3, Rise of the Machines, is crushing so absolutely that I will soon be the presidentator. Wait a minute. Yeah. Arnold, wait a minute. There's a problem. You can't become president. You weren't born in this country. No, 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 no. You forgot. I was Mr. Universe. You see? So? Right? So, the last time I checked, America was part of the universe. Okay, you know? Arnold, that's... Come on. No, Arnold, this is crazy. Uh, you, you couldn't beat George Bush. I don't have to beat George Bush. I'm going to go back in time before he was born and walk up to his mother and say, are you Barbara Bush? And then I will destroy her! <laughs> I will destroy her! That's a great idea, yeah, all right. And then well, I'm okay. going to time travel to the first day of shooting for the movie Jingle All The Way, which is now on DVD. <laughs> yeah. And I will make sure that the movie was never made because I'm going to kill Sinbad! And yeah, that's... <laughs> Terrific. That's, right, That's yeah. a stupid idea. And then I am going to... Shut up, you idiot! <laughs> Who are you? I am you in the future. <laughs> I've come back to destroy you. But why? You're making a complete ass of yourself. Wow. Oh, that was that an guy. incredible special oh, effect. That, guy. that, that guy was amazing. That was so annoying. I... 
I couldn't take it anymore. Now, wait a minute. I'm a little confused here, old Arnold. Old Arnold, if you destroyed young Arnold, shouldn't you now cease to exist? Uh, that's a good point. All right, everybody. Well, there you go. That was a fun visit. We'll take a little break. Great show and have me come back. Carson Daly's here. Stick around.